All right, guys, start of day two here, and look at this freaking weather. Oh my gosh, look at that sunrise. And there's no boats launching right now, unbelievably. Yesterday, GoPro died. I didn't bother to put another battery in just because of all those boats launching, and I didn't think it would matter. I ended up getting a three and a half pound smallmouth. So I'll put that picture in right here. But hopefully we can make that happen again today. Yeah, yesterday, even at this time, there was already a few boats launching. And then from this time out, there was just consistent boats launching the entire time. Little smally, I think. Yeah, little small mall. It's fighting hard. Get up here. Nice. Not as big as the one from yesterday, but not a bad little start. That is the species. We are going for beautiful little fish. We're gonna let him go back in there. There's no one. That's a good one. That's a good fish. That's a really nice fish. Oh yeah. Take that. Nice quick release on that one. That one was probably like a pound and a half. A little bit smaller than what I thought it was, honestly. Then was fighting crazy hard. Not a bad fish. Alright guys, I was changing out batteries there on the same cast. And here is, oh shoot, you guys didn't see that. Okay, here's Buddy. Buddy's going back. Tell you what, the last couple mornings I've had out here, it does not get any better than this. Catching smallies in front of a beautiful sunrise like this. Smallmouth number four. Man, oh man, we got we got we got to get bigger though. Okay, guys, GoPro battery just died. I made a cast as it died, and we're hooked up to a pretty decent smallmouth actually. If we can land it, it'll by far be our best one of the day. So far, beautiful fish.
Give me all of those rocks. There we go. That's two pounds all day. Sorry, I'll give you guys a good look at the fish here in a second. I just want to get the hook out. Ooh. There we go. Oh, that is looking way better. That is a really nice fish right there. Nice smally right here. We are going to let this beautiful fish be on his way. Ooh, there he goes. All right, guys, turn the camera off to save some battery for tomorrow. And we are hooked up again with smally number 10. All right, not a bad fish there. Probably a pound and a half or so, maybe two. I don't know. He's pushing it for sure. He's chunky. There's a chance. But that's number 10. Another good one for sure. Had a pretty crazy morning out here so far. It's yeah, 7.50 right now. This is Smalley number 10 going back. There she goes, all in the drop shot. So as I was reeling in that fish, I was like kind of panicking <laughs> trying to get the batteries all figured out and everything. But it doesn't get much more finesse than this guys eight pound i've got 10 pound power pro connected to eight pound fluoro down to a drop shot and he actually nicked that up pretty good while going into all those rocks so i'm going to retie this and show you guys exactly just how i tie up a drop shot I got a tie new leader too, so I suppose I should tie, tell you guys how to how I tie that up too. All right, so I just got some Berkley. So all I do with the floral is you just make a loop. I have that in my left hand, my right hand. Put the braid up through it. And I wrap it around that loop I like to do six times you can kind of pull the braid to separate just a little bit and what I do is I hold the final little turn I made and then you go back over them and you go in between each one wet it cinch it down Take your pliers, wrap it around the braid, and go tight to it. You do not want to wrap the braid around your hands or it is going to cut your hand because the braid is so thin, it just slices right through your hand. Cut the tag ends. You can, the braid one isn't a super big deal but I like to keep the braid one pretty short, but you gotta make sure you cut the fluorocarbon one as short as, as close to that, not as possible, so it's just nice and flush when you're casting. Whatever, I'll just strip out like three, four feet of the floral. Then, who's the weight? Where the hell is the hook? 
here. We're going to take our hook here, go up through the top of it, and decide our leader length here. So I want it about a foot, so I want it around there. And you'd rather have a little bit longer leader than what you preferred than a little bit too short. Because if it's too short, you got to redo it. But if it's too long, you can just put the weight up a little bit more. And you'll see what I mean by that here in a little bit. And pull your knot all the way through. So just tie a normal knot, except you have that main tag end is a bit longer than what it typically would be. And you take your tag end, go back through the eyelid there. And that way, if I cinch this down a little bit more, it might help. Your hook will be standing sideways like that. Now with these weights, all you do, so I do like this leader length here. You just put the line through it. And take both ends, bring it up to the top, and the line sticks in there, and you're good to go. So let's get back in there. I'm rigging the drop shot ghillie style, so just straight through the side. Instead of going up and through it like what you might normally do. And that is the drop shot. And that is what has been doing all the damage up here in this weekend all right guys later in the morning here we are hooked up with another really nice smallmouth Molly number 11, and it's a pretty good one, I'm not going to lie. We were just putting an absolute beat down on them from this dock this morning, just from the boat launch. This is going to be my final one of the morning. Another one, probably close to two pounds, maybe a little bit under. This is going to be it. I got to go in for breakfast. This is a camping trip after all, and I will be back out tomorrow morning to hopefully get a few more, but this was definitely an awesome morning of fishing. One last look at this nice smallmouth here. Fish number 11 of the day. There she goes. It is day three of fishing up here in Door County. Um, third morning up here. This is also my final morning. So hopefully we can make it happen. Don't know if it'll end up getting much better than yesterday. Um, but we're here to try and find out. Another just absolutely gorgeous morning. It is glass calm conditions out here. Just absolutely perfect. 
and I mean we're just going to keep on throwing the same thing. <laughs> There's no reason to change at this point. First cast of this one. <laughs> Fish number one on the first cast of the morning. Here's first fish of the morning. First cast. <laughs> Morning number three starting out well. Unfortunately, I think that thing left my line with just an absolute tangled mess. I stand corrected on that. Holy cow. Is this just nasty. Finally, hit it three times. It is a small one, not a bad one either. This thing hit it three times. Just kept on coming back for it. That's over a pound. Beautiful colors on him. Another nice Door County smallmouth. And that's my sixth one of the morning. There's one. It's like a small, he's just not very big. Oh, he's not bad, actually. Definitely better than what I thought he was. Get up here. This fish is so incredibly unhealthy. It's unbelievable. I mean, that has potential to be like a two-pounder, but... I mean, it looks like he just, like... Came off a post spawn or something like that. It looks like he just came off a bed. There's no way. It's the end of July right now. That is smallmouth number nine. That thing was probably just over a pound. Where if it would have had a filled out stomach, just like normal, like all the other ones, that probably would have been close to pushing two pounds. All right, guys, that will do it for today's episode. Sorry, this one took a little bit longer to upload, if you can't already tell. Living in college now, so uh, a lot of stress with that, having to move in and everything. But, um, yeah, I've got a few more videos already kind of ready to go that I just have to make a couple quick edits on. Um, so it should hopefully be coming soon. But, yeah, that third day, we just um, ended up getting a lot of smaller ones, and so not a whole lot to film there um a lot of fish just like the second day but just all on the smaller side so um yeah it's still a super fun time super glad i brought the drop shot rod up to door county with me was not expecting to catch that many fish but that was definitely an awesome experience so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you all later